So as I'm sure you can relate, WordPress is constantly evolving. As web designers and developers, uh, we're always having to evolve and adapt with the software. And the latest update with Generate Blocks is also forcing us to learn a whole new system yet again. I'll be honest, uh, I tend to become a little bit slower to adapt to bigger updates like this one um, because I get so invested in my processes and my flow with building websites that by the time I really get the hang of it, a big update like this comes out. It's certainly not a bad thing. I'm always for new and improved software, constant updates to be able to help us improve and become bigger and better um, and faster at what we do. Now with that, the latest big update with Generate Blocks introduced a new global style system that is deprecating the old global style system that we're used to. So today I'm gonna teach you how you can take those old legacy styles and migrate them into the new global class system so that way we could start adapting to the new way of building. All right, so before we begin this tutorial, I wanna make sure that you are utilizing the newest update of Generate Blocks, which is 1.9 for free version and 1.7 for the pro version. This is where the new global style system was introduced. So if we come to the Generate Blocks tab in the sidebar and go ahead and visit the global styles, we're gonna notice things are going to look a bit different than what we were used to prior. We have these new all global styles panel and we've got some new classes in here that I've previously set up um, in other tutorials. And so what we want to do is visit our legacy global styles here at the top. And so now you'll notice this is more so what we're used to before um, when we would set up global styles within the old version of generate blocks. It will tell you at the top, this global style system is deprecated. Um, you can edit and use these styles. However, you cannot add new ones. So it's important to really adapt to this new class system in order to not have your websites become too outdated and unusable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this log legacy global style I have. And this is a button style that I have previously set up. Um, and it's a blue button, right? And so if you come up here again, this is the old way of doing it. The global styles, we have a label called blue button and it generates that um, global style class for us previously. However, in this new version, what we wanna do is migrate all of these styles, right? So my colors, um, my spacing settings, all of that, we want to migrate it into the new global style system while maintaining the same look uh, as we have currently. So if we click on the new panel here where it says add or create style, um, you'll notice your cursor starts to blink there and you need to type in a new name for the global style class that you want for this blue button. Now I understand naming things is very hard, so let's go ahead and just utilize, you know, use your imagination um, but be sure you're going to use something you're going to remember in the future. So maybe we'll use an abbreviation, BTN for button, and we'll say blue. So go ahead and hit create. And in just a second, a new panel will pop up presenting you with four different options for this global style. First is to create a blank style. Now this we do not want because we don't want to start from scratch. We have existing styles that we need to migrate. Second is choose or clone an existing style. We don't want to do that either. That's just not how that what we're trying to achieve. And third is the copy the local block style. So this is what we want because this is the local this styles are set locally on this block. And so we're going to go ahead and select, select copy so that it'll take the styles that we have already set up here and move them into our new button blue global style. So we'll say start editing. And here we have it. So now you'll see at the top, we have a purple bar to indicate that you're in the global styles settings and your class is going to be indicated at the top. So if we come to spacing, you'll notice my padding is visible. Um, if we come to background, we've got a background color now. 
Um, however, in the new styles you'll see, we have to switch over to hover state to be able to see the hover color. So the background color is pulled in there as well. All right, so just make sure to review all of the settings have migrated to this new global style class. And what we do is go ahead and hit the back arrow, hit the X, and now we're back in the regular editor that we're used to. And what you'll notice is now there's two different classes applied to this block. It's our button blue and then local styles. And so because we've migrated these to the button blue class, the local styles here in this panel now are no longer needed. So what we can do is hit the X on the local styles to delete them. And it's going to confirm that you want to do that and say yes. So now you'll see, even though we removed those local styles, um, nothing has changed about the look of our button. It, everything stayed exactly the same because our styles were migrated to the new class. All right, so what we'll do is come to the top and go ahead and hit update. And you'll notice that it'll say now there are two changes that are going to be made, a global styles change and the legacy global style change. So we're going to go ahead and hit save because it's now telling us there's two different elements of styles that we're saving. So if we go ahead and jump into a page, um, let's say uh, about page, and we'll say edit this page, and we want to insert this new button here below as a click to book. So, oop, book, I say book and I type book. So we type out button to insert a new button block with generate blocks. Open up our panel here, as you can see, below my headline. And now, instead of utilizing this old legacy global style system, we want to add the new global style system we set up with that BTN hyphen blue class. So choose that drop down and choose your button. And you'll notice, what the heck, why didn't anything change? That's not what my button looks like. Well, by default, Generate Blocks applies a set of local styles to the button block itself. And so you'll see here we have this little light pink um, class that says this block has local styles. So if we click that to remove those, and there you have it. Now our button um, is represents the true style of our button blue global style. So we can go ahead and hit update. And we can come to the front end of the page here and you'll see there's our button. Now, if you're wanting to go in and now edit this button, you can do this anywhere that the button exists across your site, as long as you are viewing the class. So since we inserted it on this page, we know this is our button blue. You click that global class and now you'll notice every time you see that purple header at the top, that's going to be when you're in the global style itself. It's probably one of the trickiest parts of adapting to this new system is making sure you understand which panel you're in and editing um, so that you don't accidentally apply local styles to your global style, right? So we don't want to duplicate those in because, because then when you go to add the same button on another page, the local styles you added here are not going to carry over on the new page itself. All right, so now that we have that in place and our new global style is migrated, what we can do is go to generate blocks, global styles again, come to our legacy global styles, and we can actually just delete our legacy global style completely. We'll just say trash. All right, so I hope that was helpful in demonstrating to you how you can migrate those old legacy global styles into the new class system. Keep in mind, you can utilize this for any of the global legacy styles you have previously set up, whether that was for containers, um, headlines, uh, whatever it might be, you utilize that this same exact process that I showed you today with the button. Always be sure to just choose that third option in the new global style to copy to a new global style. And then once you're done creating that new global style, remove the local styles from the block, save it, and then you're happy to delete the old legacy global styles out of your generate blocks library. 
Thanks again for watching and keep an eye out for more future videos utilizing this new Generate Blocks class system.